Hi, and welcome back to Marketing Midday. I'm Jamie, your host and executive producer. Right beside me is Matt, my co-host and CMO at the digital agency Rival Mind. Hi, Jamie. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. We have lots about Google, a little about Pepsi, two of my favorite things. Jamie, what are the headlines? First, Google has several significant projects in the works, including a new search engine and new search features under the project title Magi. Next, Pepsi recently revealed a new logo design, its first rebrand in 14 years. However, according to Marketing Week, the new design has sparked some debate. And finally, Google plans to show more detailed shipping and return information in search results, as well as provide a search console report to help marketers monitor this e-commerce display. Great stories, Jamie. Let's jump right in. According to Search Engine Land, Google is in the process of building an all new search engine while also incorporating new features to its current engine under the project title Magi. Both ventures will be steeped in AI. According to a New York Times reporter, the new search engine will offer users a far more personalized experience than the company's current service, attempting to anticipate users' needs. The new search engine is still in the early stages and Google has not released a timeline for launch. Meanwhile, Google's also updating the current Google search. Changes may include allowing searchers to facilitate transactions directly on Google. Additionally, search will likely evolve into a chat-like interface that will make the user experience feel conversational. Overall, search is changing incredibly fast and the next few months may bring about significant change. Marketers should watch closely. According to Marketing Week, Pepsi recently revealed a new logo design, its first rebrand in 14 years. Designed to appeal to an increasingly digital world, Pepsi emphasized movement, flexibility, and animation in their design. However, the rebrand has sparked debate. According to AdAge, Pepsi largely credited its in-house team for the new logo, neglecting to credit any of the external design firms and agencies that had a hand in crafting the logo. Unfortunately, this trend is not uncommon. Katie Keating, founding partner and co-chief creative officer of an independent creative agency states, we've never been given a reason for not being able to talk about the work. We depend on our previous work to show that we're good at what we do. When we're prevented from doing that, we're prevented from growing our business. Search Engine Land reported that Google recently expanded the display of shipping and return information on search results pages for merchant sites. In addition, Search Console will include new reporting that allows marketers to monitor and fix structured data related to this display. How can marketers take advantage of this new display? You must add the information using structured data markup. Alternatively, if you've already added your product information to Google in the Merchant Center, Google can use this as well. Regarding the new report in Search Console, Google stated that if your products don't have shipping and return information, or the shipping and return information was added incorrectly, you'll receive warnings in the Merchant Listings report and via email notifications. Well, those are our top three stories of the week. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and join our mailing list to stay up to date. Thank you for watching Marketing Midday. Tune in next week for the latest digital marketing news.